Let's proceed with the planning simulator tutorial. Um, you can reach this tutorial through the AutoWare documentation tutorials page under planning simulator. So planning simulator is a simple tool that aims to reproduce simple vehicle movements, add virtual obstacles and test planning and control stack. In order to run this demo, we need to first download the map. So we will copy this command and paste it here and press enter. This should um, download the map into this home AutoWare map folder. And the next command is to unzip it. And we have three files here. A lanelet map, which is an open street map. This is the vector map that we have. Second one is a map config YAML file. And this is containing the map origin with latitude and longitude. And so this represents um, where to where the origin of this uh, point cloud map actually, so that uh, it can be placed uh, according to this lane net map. Also, this lane net map uh, contains all the uh, elements with latitude and longitudes. So this is how it's able to uh, put the point cloud map and the lane net two map into the same coordinate frame. And next step is to launch the AutoWare. So here it's telling us to source the home AutoWare install step bash, but our AutoWare is right now in the projects folder. So I will run uh, source install setup bash. So it gave us an error, but this is not important because uh, we don't have CUDA, so it couldn't find the TensorRT executable. So we can ignore this one. And the next one is to launch the AutoWare planning simulator. So let's give it more space. Now we should have our Viz window opening. So here we have the um, point cloud map, which is this, um, this is actually in 3D. So you can play around in um, Arvis to see what it looks like. Um, but I think I will uh, turn off the point cloud map because in the virtual machine without GPU, it's running very, very slowly. But you can also, um, I don't know, enlarge the point cloud so that we can visually see what this environment looks like. Or maybe I will just keep the point cloud, it's better. And let's go back to the um, top down view with the viewer frame. And we have this recognition on result on image, um, image here. So we can also close this one because in planning simulator we don't have those visuals. And the next step will be to, um, let's see. Um, so here it says adding AutoWare state panel. We already have this in the service configuration. Set initial pose for the, for the ego vehicle. So this is done through the 2D pose estimates. And there should also be some, um, there was some, um, Hotkeys for these. I think this was F. No, it's not. Never mind. I will just click the button and let's place the vehicle here. So we have the vehicle here, and then the next step is to set the goal pose, and this is done with the second button here. So let's put it here. Now it had. Um, it has created the uh, mission planner route and the local planner route. So the col the colors in the local planner route uh, represent the velocities uh, aimed. So green means fast, the red means just stopping, and intermediate. It's a gradient of these colors. Also, towards end in the mission planner, you can also see some red here. And let's engage the vehicle. Um, and then it should start moving. So here you can see the um, 
velocity of the vehicle, the signals, like right now it's going to turn left, so it's um, using the left signal, left turn signal. And then we have the steering wheel um, angles there. So we have also the states here. Um, so right now it has arrived to the goal, so um, it's waiting for a new route. So if you want it, you could also make it go a little bit further, I think. And it's waiting for engage. So we press engage again. So it starts moving and it will stop at the goal point. So we could put um, more, uh, tr we can try more things. So let's say we are here and we want to go here. And it should plan and once we press engage, it should just start going. And as the vehicle goes, the next um, tutorial is for parking. Um, for parking, everything is exactly the same. Um, it's not uh, polished yet, so it's it doesn't always park perfectly, so it's open to contributions, but let's try. So let's put the vehicle here, and now we need to set a goal pose. So we can put in any of these. So let's. I will try to put to the center one. So the um, there is an issue here. So if you put it so downwards, then it won't be able to park because it's ex expecting to go and park from the top. So I try to put it a little bit uh, above here until it plants from top, and once it plants, we can engage it. And so there is there is a stop point here probably because the uh, there is a red here, red color. But once it gets there, it should become um, green again. Yeah. Now it will proceed to go. Um, so once it gets there. Um, a separate planner uh, launches and it does uh, free space planning to uh, park backwards here. So now we can see the second planner running. That's the blue one. And it will do some maneuvers to park backwards here. It's a little bit slow, it's not perfect, but uh, it's open to. Uh, improvement here. Okay, now it's not the most perfect parking, it's um, just barely okay. Now let's test the advanced simulations with uh, placing dummy objects. So for this, um, so in here there are there is this tool properties uh, near the view panel, and here you can uh, set the velocities of the objects that you will be placing. So these are in also meter per second, I believe. So for this. Um, I'm going to place a dummy car, so I put it with a direction, so this vehicle starts moving, and you can place more of course, and what I will do is um, I will remove these objects, and this uh, delete all objects will remove all of them, and then I want to place some um, stationary objects, so for this also I just made the velocity 0 for the dummy car and I will place a car and now this will stay stationary. Now let's delete all objects again and let's uh, put the vehicle, our vehicle here and let's place a dummy car here and let's give ourselves a goal right here. 
So right now it is seeing this obstacle uh, and it is following a different route because this is stopping. And now let's press engage. And as it's moving, let's place another dummy car here. And it will stop behind it. And let's remove all the objects. And it will start moving again. Let's put a dummy pedestrian here this time. And it immediately stops. And let's remove all objects again. The vehicle starts moving. And there is this merge from private road. It will stop for a while and it moves again. And it reached the goal. And let's make another test. Uh, let's put the vehicle here. And this time let's place a dummy car, which can be swerved maybe. So like this, and let's put the goal pose again. Now this will do the swerving maneuver to go around the obstacle. Right now it went to the opposite lane because there was no obstacles, but of course you can also disable this kind of uh, behavior too, if you like to. You can also see these um, virtu um, virtualized points um, which are like um, the LiDAR scans from this obstacle. So let's say if we were here, you will see this point cloud here and as the vehicle is moving through, uh, these will uh, shift. So it's waiting for root, so let's give it another go and the gauge. So you can see this uh, point cloud changing its shape. This is also coming from the planning simulator. Now I want to test the uh, traffic light recognition simulation. And for this we will add a new panel. Um, this is under add new panel. And there should be the um, planning uh, traffic light publish panel. So let's add this. Right now it's here so I want to put it um, in near this views panel too. So let's move it to the right. And for this uh, we first need to see the uh, numbers like the IDs of the um, traffic lights on the map. So they are all part of this lane led to vector map. And under this vector map, there are these namespaces. Let's go over them and let's find the uh, traffic light ID. So we need to enable this. And after we enable it, we need to uh, close, uh, turn it off and turn it on again. Uh, I think there, this is related to a bug in our VIS. Now we have the numbers, they are grayed out, they are not very visible, but uh, I will make the point cloud a little bit uh, fainter so that we can see these. Um, so in order to uh, see these better, I will uh, turn into the 3D mode with orbit. And if I uh, zoom in a little bit, because I'm in a VM, uh, I'm having a hard time moving the mouse scroll wheel, but... Okay, so here you can see all the traffic lights in this area. There are a lot of lights. But at least for now we know that uh, this uh, 384 is controlling the left turn here. 
So uh, I will be uh, changing the color of this uh, 384 uh, traffic light for this case. So let's go back to the um, top down top down view. So you need to always uh, be in the top down uh, view for giving goals or setting where the vehicle is, otherwise it will get confused. So let's put the vehicle here. Let's delete all the objects. So deleting works through just you press this and press anywhere in the map. And let's put a goal here to turn left. And we want to simulate this um, light 384. So for this, uh, we go to the traffic light publish panel. We select um, 384 from here. And for the traffic light color, we set it to red and set and publish. So this is now for now glitching on, uh, but uh, I didn't test it on my uh, real machine yet. But we can see that because of the traffic light, this became red. And let's engage the autoware and see how it will react. So it speeds up and here it will start slowing down again for the traffic light. And here we can set the color to, mm, to green or amber, for example. But amber is also mm, same as um, it acts similarly to the red and let's change it to green and once we set it the vehicle starts moving again throughout the lane and you can add more traffic light colors and you can set them too they will be added to this list um, for now they are glitching out but maybe they won't in the native machine and you can remove them by pressing the reset and everything should be back to normal. So if we were here and we want to go to here, let's say, and we made 384 um, red again and set it and publish it. If we press it um, or reset, maybe pressing reset just removes all the uh, conditions from the map for traffic light so we went through all these things uh, so yeah thanks for um, listening and this should conclude the planning simulation tutorial